How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with The Movie Castle, and today we're going to be taking a look at something kind of interesting and different. As a lot of you guys might know, I'm a big fan of found footage movies, and I've been on a bit of a kick recently. And, well, in my local comic book shop, I always like to dig around and see what I can find, and I found these two found footage comics which is a super interesting idea because found footage is super unique to the movie medium, but someone decided to try to put them into comics. I think this is written and drawn by uh, Marvin Rodriguez. And we're just going to be taking a look at the first one today. I'll make a separate video for found footage too, but it's this really interesting idea where it comes out of the sleeve like a VHS tape and it's a, a landscape uh, page format and each page is only one picture so the comic can read through really fast but it you know it's supposed to be like a screen and in turn you know it is very much the format of found footage like it could have been a storyboard for a found footage movie uh, but drawn instead of made as a movie and I would be curious if someone adapted it what the conversion would be like but overall a really just interesting and bizarre idea, a very interesting and differently formatted comic, and, you know, not the biggest and best thing ever, but an interesting idea to do a story like this, and this is also one of those deep web stories. It's a cameraman that gets hired to film these strange crimes that this other guy has tracked down, and they're going to be recording them, and he, of course, wants to back out because it's all too much, and that's really his dilemma and character study here. Again, just talking about the first one, now I'll get to part two later. But overall, it, it's a fun idea. And if you like really bizarre little odds and ends in your collection, then these, you know, comic books that look like a VHS tape and trying to adapt a strictly movie format into a comic, it's such a bizarre and interesting idea that, yeah, I had to pick it up and you know, I had fun with it. So without further ado, let's switch to the close-up camera. I'll show you guys a little bit of the story, a little bit of the art, and I'll talk in more specifics, but I'll try to be avoiding too much major spoilers. So without further ado, to the close-up camera. All right, here we are inside the castle taking a closer look at Found Footage Volume 1. Now, bringing this closer to the camera, we can see this fun design. We get what's actually a panel from the comic of the villain lifting up his Mickey Mouse mask and staring at you. And I do want to say, got away with that whole Mickey Mouse thing before the whole Steamboat Willie situation. Uh, anyway, we get to see it has a bunch of stickers to make it feel, you know, more like an old VHS. And there's the pictures and descriptions on the back. And we get to see, you know, rated 18, but done in the video style, the do not copy sticker. And we even get this barcode. I believe this was actually $9.99. It can get a little hard to tell where the fictitious stuff ends and the real stuff begins. But we get to see that found footage is actually written the other way of most things. I think it's like you have to have it come out the top or it's going to fall out. So they have the cut there, and I was like, oh, maybe it just goes this way. But then the VHS logo is upside down, so not really sure what's going on with the spine, but whatever. And if you do slide it out, which I think it's easier if you just turn it upside down and shake it out, I do love that the inside actually does look like a VHS tape, and obviously you can't draw on the paper parts, but they even put the little, little notch thing there and the back is the back of the cassette tape. This assembly, I think because it was so new and unique, the joints were pretty creaky, and I think on volume two, yeah, it was volume two, I had to re-glue the box together because it popped up. Not the best on production quality, but I think it's because no one had to make a little VHS book like this before. It held up well enough, but I did have to use a little bit of glue anyway. We do get inner stuff on the flaps where it talks about the book, but that being said, when it's wrapped up inside the box, you don't actually get to read it. There's a bit about the author, and after that, the introduction, 
and then the uh, story proper. Now, I'm not going to do any major spoilers. I do want to show you guys kind of how this book works, show you guys a little bit of the story and the art, and talk a bit about a few plot points. Again, no significant spoilers, but let's take a look inside. I do love that this is found footage, so you are going to get the this tape belongs to the police department thing. So many found footage movies open with, you know, uh, uh, text like that. Then the title page. And then after that, we get a few of this guy's jobs. And you'll notice that there's usually static when it breaks between scenes. And you'll get play. And then you'll get the date above the page number here so you can keep track of when it is. And we get to see he's doing a just kind of a job at a children's birthday party. And then later on, see there's fast forward and static. He'll be doing a job at a wedding, and right before the big kiss, we get a woman jumping in front of him and taking a photo, and he missed the most important part of the ceremony. And then we get several scenes where he'll be in his apartment, and I do like, much like a found footage movie, this is pretty much a really standard angle that you'll see a whole bunch of. And we get to see him talk about how he's not getting paid for this job, like he thought, oh, maybe I'll just lose some money, but they don't want the tape at all because he missed the kiss. And it turns out he's constantly low on money, he's constantly on the edge of eviction, and his wife divorced him, and she's not letting him see his kid. So he has reached, he has reached like, peak depression here, and we'll see his messy room with the phone in the foreground. Well, eventually he does get a call, and he's like, I got to take this call. I need any job I can get. And that's where he drives. This is a another reoccurring camera angle. And so is this one at the diner where he meets his client. And his client says, I have a few special requests. You know, I like that you record your stuff onto actual tape. And that way, you know, it will stay private. You know, if it's digital, who knows? But tape will stay private. And he's going to give him lots of money, but the idea is that he's going to be on call, and he doesn't know, you know, when or where he's going to get these calls. But he gets a call, and he decides to drive to the location in the middle of nowhere, and the guy meets him out front of the house, and that's where he says, hey, I need you to put on this mask. He's going to be Mickey Mouse, and the cameraman's going to be Donald. They go into the basement and find some people tied up there. And that's a great visual of Mickey. But it turns out he didn't do it. It's their younger daughter. And basically, the parents had embarrassed her. And she is going to get revenge on them. And basically, uh, Mickey there is going to say, Look, I, I'm just going to watch. That's all I want to do is I want to watch and record your crime. I don't want to stop you. I don't want to interfere with you. I don't want to take part. I just want to watch. And yeah, watch he does. And it gets quite brutal with a good bit of gore there. And that's where we're going to get the sort of dilemma of this character. He's obviously sickened by it, but his wife, his kids, he needs the money. And he finds out that why the guy wants to shoot all this is it's for a deep web contest. You know, who can have the scariest, most shocking, goriest videos. And basically, the more they submit, the more their rank goes up. And he obviously doesn't want to do more jobs, but the guy's like, come on, we gotta, we gotta make more, we gotta make it big, and I'll pay you. And that's sort of what's going on in his head. Well, we don't actually kill anybody the events we that we witness would have happened anyway so i'm not really doing anything bad and it also has this interesting thing where the guy talks about well how did you know this would happen is so much of your life is on the internet and you're more predictable than you think it really is an interesting story now i will say because each page is its own little panel there um the book do does go pretty quick, like it's one you can easily, even if you're a slow reader, 
uh, read in like 45 minutes tops, you know, like it, that, then that's if you're really taking your time. If you're a fast reader, you can blow through this pretty quick. So know that going into it, that it's not the longest thing in the world. But I do think it is such an interesting little thing, the idea that we would try to turn found footage into a comic book. And they did make a second one, and I'll get on to that hopefully pretty soon. But as it stands, it's an interesting idea, and I do like oddballs and novelties in my collection. So I say, hey, if that sounds interesting to you, uh, go ahead and go for it. Anyway, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll leave a relevant playlist on the bottom. If you guys want to see videos kind of like this, you can click right there and see more. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.